So this bit gives you more information about how to uh, convert the oiling system on a Briggs, say three and a half horse lawnmower into run a uh, horizontal shaft like a rototiller engine. Uh, this engine here is a three horse uh, rototiller uh, type engine, whereas this one's a regular uh, lawnmower engine. The main differences are in the oiling system. So I'll try to show you. See. Here's the feeding slot. Uh, oil splashes around from the dipper and feeds the uh, crankshaft bearing in a block through there. And the camshaft is fed through here. And then there's a drain back hole uh, here. Whereas on the lawnmower, you do have a feed slot on the top and a drain at the bottom. Um, and the camshaft also is fed. It has an extra feed on the side, but that seems to work okay. The main problem with the lawnmower is in uh, this drain hole. I'll try to show that to you. You see it there. Now, when you look at it from the outside, that drain hole comes with a pin in it. Usually comes with a pin right, right there. So you have to take that pin out. And what I did, I took, or you, I didn't actually do this, but it would work. You take a, a like a roofing nail, and uh, you'd need to cut it off. I'd say about 13 16 long under the head, so that it slides in that hole. Now, this one I didn't cut, but you can see that it it protrudes into where the crankshaft bearing uh, crankshaft sits. So you'd have to chop it off. And I'd recommend JB welding it in place, uh, and JB welding around here where I'm pointing, where where the uh, oil would leak out of the uh, crankshaft bearing. You have to seal that because otherwise it will drain all of your oil out of the bearing and uh, burn it up uh, prematurely. So that's the main oiling changes in the block. Now the crankcase cover is a little different matter. Uh, as I can show you here, here's the regular uh, rototiller one. It has a feed slot at the top and uh, one on the side, no drain, and a feed slot for the crankshaft there. The lawnmower, its feed slot is on the side, so it'd be best to uh, plug that one with JB Weld and, and uh, hacksaw or cut one in the top. You need it to feed from the top. Where I'm, uh, where I'm showing here, and I just cut it, you know, say uh, eight inch or so deep, and then uh, the crankshaft you would need to plug this one again with JB Weld or something, um, and open this one uh, up a little bit, maybe just with a hacksaw blade or a file, just take it so that it's not sloped down like it is there, just slope it maybe flat. The object is to uh, get the oil to feed into uh, into that uh, spot to feed the bearing. As you can see in this one, this one actually slopes from the crankshaft down towards the sorry, I didn't show that down from the crankshaft down towards the uh, top of the cover. So this one slopes the opposite direction to that. So you'd want to you'd want to change the slope on that so that it feeds more oil in. Um, and the other thing is uh, the uh, oil dippers. Uh, I have two connecting rods here. This is a stock lawnmower connecting rod uh, here. And this is uh, this isn't a three horse or three and a half. This is a two horse. So the dippers a slight different shape than that. But you'll have to get a dipper that fits on here. And uh, I believe one would fit from a model eight. 0202 type 220901 code 91100303 so basically uh, I would think any dipper from a model 80202 rig should uh, fit your three and a half horse crankshaft uh, that's it for this video